Let's take a look at the 2014 J case assortment for Matchbox cars. Only 36 in a case compared to Hot Wheels cars. Now Matchbox cars are made in Thailand. They do make Hot Wheels in Thailand as well. If you look at the back of your five packs, your Hot Wheels five packs, it says made in Thailand right here. Now this is the Shelby five pack which had those models. So these were made in Thailand. So Mattel uses the Thailand plant for their Matchbox and for some Hot Wheels products as well. Let's see what we have. This is a late July 2014. Now some of these cars I heard people were finding at Target. Like this one right here. I heard some people were finding at Target. Here we have the Renault Master Ambulance. Even with this being a plastic body, it looks pretty good. I like this model myself. Look, you can see in the window. I wonder if it has a uh, little place to lay down your person in need. You can see a seat. You can get the uh, five pack out of the way. Here we have the Toyota Tacoma. Two in this assortment. I think there was only one in my last case. And here's another Renault. I'll check this out in another video. I, I don't remember if I opened it up in the last video but I think I'm going to do a separate presentation for that one here we have the 57 GMC step side it was in the last assortment as well I think that die cast collectors no matter if you like the orange or the blue packages might be picking this one up nice licensed model here we have that long name one for the BMW police motorcycle a couple of them in the pack case mini dozer didn't dawn on me maybe I should have opened one of these up in the last video I'll think about it for this one I want to check out how that mini dozer works you can see it's got the arm on the left side so it looks like uh, the bulldozer part lifts up and down yeah here's another one people were asking me if I got the BMW X5 police because it was showing up as at Target as well and said nope didn't get one in my case and when I went to Target they were all gone so people are definitely liking that BMW police and on the bottom we have the International Scout 4x4 this fella usually gets pretty good uh, colors let me see any of these different hmm, look the same same spokes same wheels and uh, see the light bar? Well, I'll open that one up. I'll talk about that separate. I opened up the Hummer in the last video. This little thing opens up. You can see stuff inside. And since I opened it up in the last video, I won't be opening it up here. This model here, you have the three axle dump truck. Even though uh, triple axles are not good for downhill racing, I, I really love models with triple axles. Just kind of cool. You can imagine rolling it around on a carpet if I was a youngster, which I'm not. I don't know why they put I don't know why they put a trailer hook on there. I don't know what this thing would be hauling around. J M J O oh, A M A. I'm guessing that says A M A mining. You're gonna see a lot more initials coming to Hot Wheels models. Matchbox models. Duh. You're going to see a lot more initials and names and stuff. This is to avoid any international problems with translations. Speaking of international, you have the International CXT. So models that have like rescue in the title, you might see that uh, abbreviated to RSQ. We'll see that as it comes up. Wilderness, the tempo's a little low. Can't even see the wilderness. It's cut off the text. Got a couple spare tires. Hard to tell if that's one or two spare tires in the back. Let's see what else do we have. Hey, Questor. This one's kind of neat because look, you see the hinge right there? This pops open. You don't get moving features on the $1 cars very often anymore. 
Quest Store in blue. What was the other color? Anybody remember? I'm thinking it was green. I know this model people don't like too much. And Road Tripper, uh, that name's going to be changed to same thing internationally. It might mean something else, or it just might be slang that they didn't realize. So look for that name to be changed. The back part looks like it's move, uh, an opening part, but it's actually clear plastic. It's probably the same clear plastic that goes for the windows and the side. It's probably all one piece. I don't recall that opening up. So we have the Sahara Survivor. Pretty interesting colors. Tell you one thing, if you're out there in the Sahara, you're not, you won't be able to, you're not camouflaged in this one, that's for sure. Hey, camera, what are you doing? I, ha I have enough colors of the Sahara Survivor. Here we have the Baja Bullet. More of the off-road theme. You're going to see that continue in the 2015 off-road type of vehicles or segments. I don't pay attention particularly to the uh, segments. I just focus on the models. So I'm, I get messages saying, hey, did you notice that they put the wrong collector number? Or did you notice that that car doesn't make sense in that series? And uh, I didn't even look at the series, so I did not notice. So we have the Blaze Blitzer. Hey, by the way, I asked Amanda if she wanted one because it was green. She goes, eh, she'll pass. Said, okay, more for me. Here we have the mini dozer, and since I'm going to open up the police, I will go ahead and open up uh, the mini dozer for a little added. Here we have a brand new Hot Wheels Matchbox. Why do I keep saying that? Matchbox casting, 1963 Mac B fire truck. This fire truck's as old as I am. Got your little uh, light sticking up out of the hood. We're going to have to open up one of these to see. Uh, this one has a little curl in the card. They both kind of do, but we'll open up that one. So I won't dally on this right now because we're going to feature that. Deep Diver was in the last assortment. Fun model. Pretty nice tampos on it. Yeah, I did find this at Target. I was surprised to be able to get this one. You got your 71 Pontiac Firebird formula. Nice. Got another one of the Baja Bullets. And last up in the case, what do we have here? Oh yeah, that fun uh, field tripper. Another one that's going to probably get a name change. What would, be, what would you change the name to field tripper? What kind of different name do you think you would give to this four-wheel drive uh, high-rise bus? Can you imagine, kid, how are you supposed to get in there if you're picking up kids? That's a, I never even thought about that. Or if I did mention it last month, I don't recall. And I opened up this one right here. Here we have the Dirt Smasher. This part right here opens up like a lobster claws. Fun stuff. And it has a, a bulldozer in the back. Uh, looks like I'm going to take a look at the three of the new releases in this case. Let me get my uh, turntable and let's check out these three right here. Let's take a look at the 1963 Mac B fire truck first. Now at first glance, I would buy it anyways because I like red fire trucks. But at, at first glance, I would have thought, oh, the Seagrave back out. But uh, no, let's compare the Mac with the Seagrave. Seagrave. Hey, it's convertible, look. Or Roadster, it's got no roof. Just kidding. Come on, give me a break. So anyways, there's a look. It's taller. This part's plastic here, whereas the Seagrave, pretty much metal except for the black parts. The black parts are plastic in the interior, of course. There is an, in there is an interior to the Mac. It's a little hard to see because the windows are so small. But let me give you the 360. Sorry for the noisy uh, turntable. It's got this uh, funny sound to it. 
whether it's the same on both sides take a look at that side no tampo is not the same on each side which it shouldn't be right for a fire truck They're, they don't have the same tools hoses knobs and all that stuff on each side This, this side has hoses, the other side has a ladder. Just like the Seagrave got a ladder on the right side. And hoses and accessories on the left side. Now we're going to take a look at the BMW X5 Police. Love me police cars. I would, I would assume, or I think, that the tampos look pretty realistic to what you would see. I don't necessarily follow the vehicle to know how it's designed. But as you can tell, the light bar on top, hey, no push bar, bummer. That's alright, I still like police cars. But my favorites are police cars that have push bars and light bars. But the light bar on top, if you notice, the light bar just kind of comes up out of the roof. That's because it is all one plastic piece with the windows as opposed to, let me show you the Subaru WRX, the sample of the Subaru WRX right here. The blue light bar on top shows that it's a separate piece from the window. So in the past where we used to get a separate light bar that would be inserted into the roof, that will be no more for the $1 basic range. For Matchbox, you're just gonna, it's going to be combined with the window. All in one piece, this way they can reduce their costs, yet provide a nice model at a price that consumers are willing to pay. So I'll be looking for a couple extra of that one, as I do like police cars. And last up, a mini, mini dozer. And if you're watching this uh, July 2014, I went a week without videos. That's because I was at the Matchbox Gathering Convention in Albuquerque, New Mexico. And so, unfortunately, I didn't have any videos ready to go. So that's one reason for the delay. And I'll show you another reason in a second. Hey. Okay. I was going to say, don't tell me it doesn't move. There's your little mini dozer. Hey look, it's an RC car. It has a little uh, antenna for remote control. Oh, exhaust? Okay. Looking at this one, it's a cute little model. Reminds me of another cute little model. Skidster! This model here. Eh, I got a few color var variations. Not exactly a model that I ever collect because I'm not into construction. But uh, there you go, Mini Dozer, along with uh, some color samples of the Skidster. And speaking of construction, let me give you a sneak peek right here. Uh, not only did I go to the gathering, but I've also been working on a special project. Yes, beautiful pool. Kind of a strange fence, though, for that uh, garden. What? It's not a fence? Yeah, I'm working on a special project. Hopefully, be able to reveal that pretty soon. But for those of you who stuck around... To watch the end of this video, you get a little sneak peek as to uh, what's coming down the pipes. In the meantime, thanks for watching my videos. Thanks for liking, subscribing, and all that stuff. We take a look at new Matchbox Hot Wheels releases. Every time they release a case, I get a case, and I give you my spin. A little history on models that I know. I don't know a whole lot of Matchbox, but, you know, I can point out what I do know. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.